Hello fabulous ones, welcome back to my channel. I am Marlo Keenan, and if you're new here, welcome to the Fabulous Family. Today we are going to do a Q&A. Yes we are, I think this will be my first Q&A ever. So, I'm super excited. I had put a poll on Instagram, got y'all questions, and today you are gonna have the answers. So, if you wanna know a little bit more about me, then just continue to watch. All right, all right, all right. So I got all my questions written down um, and screenshotted and all that, all that jazz. So the first question is, what's your favorite brand of all time? Okay, so I'm just gonna assume this person met makeup since I am a beauty channel. Oh, that is going to be hard. But I do have to say, when I started wearing makeup, I started, you know, back, you know, late 80s, early 90s, really getting into makeup, it was MAC. MAC, that's what I started out with, and then I went to Bare Minerals as well, and those are the two brands that I have been using since then, and I still continue to use their products because that they, they just off the chains. You know, MAC is obviously MAC, and Bare Minerals started that whole mineral foundation. So it's like, if I had to pick a brand, I would have to say MAC and Bare Minerals. The next question is, what is your all-time favorite palette? Like really? There's so many palettes that I love. Um, but, gosh, if I have to pick and choose one palette, gosh, it would be the Urban Decay Naked, that first palette that came out. I'll, I'll put the picture up here uh, just in case you guys don't know what it is. That is definitely my all-time favorite palette. It's so beautiful, the golds in there, the transitional colors. Buck and Naked are one of my favorite transitional colors. I could go real super duper smoky with that palette and just a natural looking palette. It don't have any color in it, you know, and obviously my channel is loaded with color, but I would have to choose that Naked palette because that's gonna be my everyday ride or die, has everything I need in there for a great neutral smoky look. Okay, the next question is, since orange is your least favorite color, what is your favorite color to play with? So, everybody knows I don't be digging orange and pastels and all of that jazz, so if I had to choose a color that is my favorite to work with or to use as far as makeup, it would have to be blue. It would have to be blue. I love me some blue. I have several blue looks on my channel, so yeah, I would definitely say blue. Okay, the next question is, if you could work with a brand person in makeup, beauty world, who would it be? Okay, so basically I read that all weird, but it's basically asking me if I could work with a brand or the person in the beauty world, who would it be? Mm. I gotta think about this for a minute. Well guys, to be honest with you, I can't really think of a person. There's several people that I do like, whether they're uh, other makeup gurus on YouTube or you know, actually brand owners or whatnot, but nobody in particular for me stands out like that. For, I'm not like a group, I'm just like, I don't have a groupie mentality. Not to say that that is a groupie mentality. It's just, there is like, you know, it's whatever for me. Um, but I will say in terms of the brand, I would love to work with Mac. I mean, cause Mac is what I started with in terms of me experiencing really good quality high-end makeup from back all the way back then when kind of they first came out. So I would definitely have to go with Mac because Mac has been in my life for so long. So I would have to choose Mac for sure. Okay, the next question is what one item you've always wanted but just can't get yourself to spend that much money on? To be honest with you, there is not too much that I want that I can't spend the money on. Um, and so uh, I have everything that I want. I, um, In terms of makeup, you know what I mean? 
um, but maybe they're not even referring to makeup you know what I'm saying so if it was outside of the realm of makeup a motorcycle because I love motorcycles if it's outside of makeup but if we're talking about makeup I would say okay so Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona makeup is pretty pricey okay um, I have a thing about Natasha Denona in terms of her palettes like I know they're like $125 but like I can't find myself or see myself spending that type of money on a palette I just I just can't you know what I mean I, I can but I don't want to every palette that I've seen I feel like I have those colors in my collection you know what I'm saying and then I'd be hearing such hit and misses about the palette so another one I would say Pat McGrath now Pat McGrath is someone that I would definitely try but I haven't yet. I just haven't gotten myself to spend that coin yet. But Pat McGrath got a lot more sway in me buying her products than Natasha Denona. So we'll just keep it like that. The next question is, what's one thing we wouldn't know about you? Well, geez, that's a lot. Like, you guys don't know a lot about me. But I guess I will say one thing that you guys may not know about me is that I'm a psychotherapist. That's what I do. That's my career. That's my, um, you know, my life. I treat individuals with uh, that experience depression, anxiety, bipolar, all, all kinds of diagnoses in that DSM. So that is my full-time gig, <laughs> if you will. And I absolutely love what I do. And I would never, ever, ever change what I do. So that is one thing that you guys might not know about me is that I'm a psychotherapist. The next question is, why is your best friend Sherry so awesome? Now you know daggone well that was Sherry herself asking me that question. Okay Sherry, well you are amazing because you're sweet, you're loving, you're real, you're my sister in Christ, you absolutely have a beautiful loving heart and most importantly I love you and you love me. Point blank in the period. The next question is what is your plan for the future? Well, I guess my plan for the future is, you know, to continue to work a little bit, to continue to go out with my friends, enjoy life, enjoy my family, vacation, uh, retire comfortably, um, and travel. You know what I'm saying? That is my plan for the future. You know, I'm not in my 20s or my 30s, you know, I'm over 45 years old. So that question would look different if I was 20, because at your 20s, you're still like, you know, trying to figure it out I'm already figured out so my next step is just living comfortably and experiencing life and all of its wonderful joys all of its wonderful mysteries and just spending time with the people who I love the most because I'm telling you when you're young it goes by fast you know your 20s it goes by actually really slow then your 30s you know it goes by a little fast and your 40s go by like it's nobody's business so the point is is that my goals in the future is always to just be prosperous love everybody my family and my friends travel and have a good dang time point blank in a period okay so the next question is what skincare product and what one makeup product would it be if I had to pick and choose just one of those oh my god and I know who asked me that question that was Jennifer Locanis and that is so hard oh my god she told me she was like you better answer the question okay look if I had to choose one skincare product and I, I, I couldn't use anything else it would have to be Pond's cold cream for dry skin point blank in the period um, one makeup product, like really? Hmm. It would be a lip gloss. And I would just have to say it would be by Mac O oh Baby. Mac O oh Baby lip gloss. There you have it. <laughs> okay, the last question is, if you could go back to yourself at a younger age with the wisdom you know now, what would you tell her? 
That is the most difficult question. There are so many things that I will go back and tell my younger self, but we don't have time for me to give you guys a dissertation. So I think maybe I would choose to go back and tell my myself as a parent to be patient with my kids, to teach them more about finances and how to save money and the importance of, you know, what it means to set yourself up to the future financially. I would definitely do that because I don't feel like I did that good enough back then. You know what I'm saying? I would touch on it periodically, but I feel like I should have went a little bit more hardcore with that. Um, and just, you know, being more understanding back then. You know, I was a young mother, so all the things that I've learned through education, through school, through me even being a psychotherapist, through me knowing about childhood development now, if I would have known that stuff back in the day, man, please, I would have made out like a bandit. Okay, so that is one thing I would tell myself, but there's so many things, guys, that I would really tell myself. It, it, that is, that's just a really, it's not a difficult question, but it's a loaded, it would, it would be a loaded answer, if that makes sense. So, all right, guys, that's all the answers I have for you. I hope you enjoyed those answers. I actually like doing this Q&A. Nothing was too personal or anything like that, so I was happy about that. Um, and I will try to kind of put something like this, maybe a poll like this on actual actual YouTube, because everybody who's on YouTube don't follow me on Instagram and vice versa. So if you are watching this video and you are subscribed to my channel, you need to make sure that you go and follow me on Instagram. It's still Marlo Keenan, and my Twitter is Keenan Marlo. So it's just my name in reverse. So I hope you enjoy this q a and as you know until my next video guys bye bye now